Luke chapter 9 verses 23 to 26 one of the most profound statements of the Lord Jesus we find over there you know it is actually the most repeated teaching if you read uh, verse 24 Luke 9 24 for whoever wishes to save his life will lose it and whoever loses his life for my sake he is the one who will save it this Jesus statement is actually the most repeated teaching of Jesus in the four Gospels. If you read the four Gospels seven times in the four Gospels, this statement is repeated uh, in the four Gospels. But unfortunately, if you listen to uh, the Christian preaching nowadays in all the churches around us, actually it is one of the uh, least taught teachings of Jesus. It is one of the least understood teachings of Jesus. It is one of the most mistaught, misunderstood teachings of Jesus. Some people think that you know, it is just to go and you know bear some hardship for Jesus and take some adventure, some missionary work in some remote place. That alone is denying yourself and taking up the cross. But actually, what Jesus is telling is like something about death. Because taking up the cross was the punishment, the capital punishment of the Roman government which was ruling the nation of Israel that time. Just like the hanging is the capital punishment in the Indian penal code, cross, crucifixion, dying on a cross. If somebody is taking up the cross and walking along the streets of Jerusalem, everybody was so sure that that man is going to be crucified on that cross and uh, he would be such a heinous criminal, such a notorious uh, criminal and uh, uh, it is actually the most notorious, most heinous criminals were given that capital punishment. So, taking up the cross basically means you die <laughs> and Jesus is saying uh, if anyone wishes to come after me, verse 23, Luke 9, 23, he was saying to them all, he was saying about he going to be delivered in Jerusalem, verse 22 and all, he is telling the disciples about his own crucifixion and he is telling in verse 22 the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes elders and chief priests and scribes were the Jewish authorities, the elders, chief priests, uh, the high priests of that day in the Jewish community, the scribes, the most knowledgeable persons in the word of God. Jesus will be rejected by all those people and he will be killed and he will be raised up on the third day. He was telling them about, uh, he was prophesying about his own crucifixion and he was telling, the, uh, telling them all, if you also want to come after me, if you wish to come after me, it is not that, it is not a compulsion, Jesus is not catching anybody by collar that you should <laughs> take a cross but actually Jesus lovingly tells them if you really wishes to come after me if you really uh, wants to have life that I can give in abundance life and life in abundance is what I have come to give Jesus says in John 10 10 if you really want to have that life and follow me you need to deny yourself deny yourself abanyomai is the Greek word which means uh, arniomai means uh, to disregard one's own interest, act entirely unlike himself. We have an ego, we have a self, we have an I, and uh, you need to deny yourself. Arniomai, Apo means separation, and Arniomai means to disregard one's own interest. So Abanyomai means to forget oneself, to lose one's sight of oneself and one's interest. And uh, so you must deny yourself, and you have to take up the cross. There is a cross, and uh, that cross, is actually uh, where my will crosses God's will. God's will is God's word. God's word says something and my will says something exactly opposite to that. Uh, I want to think in some way. I want to react in some way. Uh, I want to do things in some way. But God's word says you should forgive. You should not be angry. You should not call bitterness. You should pursue peace with everybody and uh, you should rejoice in the Lord, you should not be anxious. The God's word is such a great standard and my will is actually myself says, uh, you know, to indulge in my own self and go the way that I like, go the way that the world is going, just go along the tide is what my will says. So, but you have to deny yourself and you have to take up the cross, meaning you have to die on that cross. There's two planks on the cross horizontal plank and a vertical plank so my will is this horizontal plank and the word of God the sword of the word of God word of God is compared to a, to a sword in uh, Hebrews 4 12 and uh, Ephesians 6 17 sword of the spirit is the word of God and God's word is coming from heaven the word of God 
and my will is here my will is crossing god's will and i deny die to my will and i embrace god's will and i i surrender my will when god's word is saying something and i surrender god's word is jesus himself jesus is the word who became flesh and i surrender my will to jesus and say that lord i do not want to do my will but your will that is what how that's how jesus also lived as an example for us because although he is almighty god when he came as a man he had a self will which he had to deny himself and uh, follow the father he says in john 6:38 i came from heaven not to do my will but the will of him who sent me uh, john 6:38 and matthew 26:39 the classic prayer of jesus in garden of gethsemane matthew 26:39 not my will of father but your will even it was the most difficult thing for him to be separated from the father but he yielded his will to father's will that is how jesus lived entirely all through his life and he surrendered his will and he embraced father's will and jesus is saying that if you want to follow me i am going through this path of the cross way of the cross that way of the cross is the narrow way that jesus says in matthew 7 13 and 14 the narrow way that leads to life it is called the new and living way in hebrews 10 19 and 20 the new and living way that jesus inaugurated by renting of his wheel that is his flesh that is his flesh means his self was rent on the cross and that was symbolized by the father renting the veil of the jerusalem temple from top to bottom matthew 27 and uh, luke's gospel 23 uh, and all we read about the renting of the veil that indicates jesus self being rent and he inaugurated a way for us into the most holy place into the an access to the uh, father in heaven uh, so if you also want to have that life that fullness of life with the father the fullness of joy in the presence of god then you need to deny yourself you need to surrender yourself on that golden altar if you say the example of that uh, tabernacle golden altar denotes our will power way we can either indulge in our own will and harden our will and uh, we can exalt ourselves and we can do our will that is kind of thickening the veil of the temple <laughs> but if we surrender my will before god's will this like renting the veil we are our self our self will our, uh, that ego is more and more broken and the more we have yielded our self will to the lord the more the lord will be able to flood us with the holy spirit and give us life so you'll be able to follow jesus that means jesus will fill us with the holy spirit and Uh, he will empower our inner man our spirit to become more like christ to think more like christ to act more like christ to speak more like christ and we will be following jesus in his footsteps in this path of life path of death but path of life path of death to self but path of life in the spirit and if you really wish to save your life uh, that is the suke is that word psyche or suke soul if you really want to save your soul your life on this earth if you want to save your soul faculty and your name and your honor and that all that that our soul is clinging on to if you really want to save that in this life verse 24 you will lose it eternally <laughs> you will suffer a loss and eternal loss but if you lose your soul uh, that uh, word life is actually soul life actually psyche suke is that greek word used there for jesus sake for the gospel sake if i'm losing that life if i surrender my soul faculties like my intelligence and my memory and my talents and my abilities and my emotions and my thinking capacity everything my whole life my whole personality i'm surrendering it to the lord and for his gospel sake i'm surrendering it to the lord then i'll uh, i'll be saving the soul to an eternal realm i'll be saving it and in in john's gospel it is little more clear in john 12 25 when jesus says that John 12 24 Jesus says about the kernel of wheat uh, falling to the ground and dying death to self the where the kernel of wheat is having a shell the shell is the self that is getting broken and the life in the within the wheat is coming forth uh, as a new wheat plant with many grains John 12 24 and then Jesus says the same verse which more clearly the holy spirit has uh, written over there where Uh, the holy spirit is using two words over there the self life and the eternal life verse 25 john 12 25 he who loves his self life psyche suke he loses it but he who hates his self life in this world he will keep that self that soul faculty is everything to life eternal ionia zoe that eternal life that is a word of the zoe that is a life of god that means actually uh, we will have a hundredfold harvest where our whole 
personality is saved jesus himself says about the parable of the sower where he says about the 100 fold harvest 60 fold harvest 30 fold harvest uh, matthew 13 uh, mark 4 and luke 8 we read that parable so even if we uh, manage to get into heaven we can have a full fold salvation or we can we can be, and we can be there in heaven but you know the, our reward in heaven won't be that as the hundred four hours people so the lord wants us to if we really wholeheartedly lose our self life and wholeheartedly follow the lord of course we all have fallen in this area but if we sincerely repent and we seek to follow the lord wholeheartedly uh, we can have an abundant entry like as peter says in second peter 1 we can have an abundant entry if you have all these qualities in abundance and we'll have an abundant entry a hundred four harvest will be the bride of christ you will not be one among whom is call for the marriage of the lamb but you will be sitting on the throne as an overcomer with the lord uh, as his bride and if and coming back to uh, luke 9:25 what is a man profited if he gains the whole world he is gaining the whole world like some great kings and emperors of this in the past centuries almost the known world alexander the great and all he conquered almost the whole known world of that time but if he loses and forfeits himself his own soul uh, you know matthew uh, 1626 uh, says that forfeits his soul psyche so okay if he loses his own soul what is a profit and one another shade of meaning in that is that a single man's soul is more worth than the whole world you know how much we are valuable in god's sight <laughs> a single man or a single child or single woman single person's soul is much more or of worth than the whole world and all the riches and uh, everything that means the lord values us he doesn't want us to lose our soul but this is says in verse 20 says who is ashamed of me and my words jesus son of man will be ashamed when he comes uh, and he says the reverse also in matthew 10 if you read if you are not ashamed he will confess our name if we confess uh, jesus name before men he will confess our name before father and the angels matthew 10 we read over there if jesus was not ashamed to hang half naked for me on the cross uh, how can i be ashamed of him i am not ashamed of the cross i am not ashamed of the gospel as paul says in romans 1 and you will be able to taste verse 27 also i'll just say this shame and everything will go away when you experience god's kingdom verse 27 there, there are some of those who standing here i say truthfully will not taste it until they see the kingdom of god uh, if you compare this words with mark 9 it says that unless you see the kingdom of god coming with power and that happened on the day of pentecost when they when the kingdom of god came upon the disciples with power within the, uh, that short span of time some like judas iscariot and lost his life he tasted that and all he was not telling about the mount of transfiguration because there some eight days early transfiguration happened verse 28 but you know uh, it is unthinkable that some people died in that but kingdom of god coming with power is denoting the day of pentecost when the holy spirit comes upon them then we will not be ashamed the disciples till that time they were little ashamed and peter was denying jesus and all those things but when kingdom of god heaven came with came upon them with power the holy spirit came upon with power peter was uh, testifying about jesus to the thousands of jews in on the day of pentecost uh, and uh, he was confessing jesus name and all the 11 disciples uh, also stood with peter there in acts to read that and so here in our day to day life also uh, the way of death to self that is the way of uh, resurrection in our spirit life and life in abundance the more we humble ourselves and surrender our self self will to the lord in our times of temptations and trials when we humble ourselves and surrender ourselves to the lord the lord will be able to break our self will more and more and the lord will be able to empower us with the holy spirit and we'll be able to follow him more wholeheartedly and if we do it consistently and wholeheartedly we'll have a hundredfold harvest when the lord comes and the lord will be confessing our name before everyone and that would be the greatest reward to be closest to him as his bride and so that is what the lord is encouraging us the path of discipleship that is a path of life of course some difficulties and all those things will would be there but that would be just like some some small ant bites compared to the surpassing glory that we are to receive when he comes back and the surpassing glory that we can experience even in this life on earth as we walk along the way of the cross enjoying the abundance of life and peace that he alone can give us in this path so may the lord help us to see the footsteps of jesus along this path of life and follow after him